Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Puya Salary and this is my channel Puya Salary Dev. Uh, in this brand new tutorial, Swift UI animation tutorial, we're gonna build a beautiful and uh, eye-catching uh, 404 page animation for our apps. You can uh, integrate it within, within your apps or you can just learn uh, from it how to build this beautiful and eye-catching animation for the 404 error page or 404 error view. So <clears throat> don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the like button and share it with your friends if you, uh, if you like it. And yep, uh, feel free to write me down in the comment section your opinion, your uh, suggestion, your questions about this tutorial or about the programming or tech world. And yep, I will answer as soon as possible. And don't worry about the code, I will put the assets, the resources and uh, a link to SwiftUI official documentation in the... Uh, description below so check the description also and uh, you will find a uh, link to my github repository for this project so you as you see in my monitor uh, my screen you can see a beautiful animation made by swift and swift ui this is so easy beginner friendly tutorial so if you are a beginner if you are an expert in swift you can watch it feel free to watch it and yep uh, and practice as me right now in the code so uh practice every day uh, i do my best to upload a video per day a day uh to motivate myself first and then motivate you to uh practice with me to uh you know as they say uh practice make perfect so if you want to be an expert in programming in the Swift world, you're gonna uh, practice every single day, code every single day until you make it. So be with me and yep, jump to the coding. So in my Xcode, I will create a new project here. So let me just here, yep, there. What is going on? Nope, not that. Let me just see. Yep, new project. And yeah, that's my new project. So let me just show you. I select iOS and then, then the app. And we will call it the animation 404 app. Animation 404 app. So make sure to select the interface uh, the swift ui for the interface and the swift for the language and don't <coughs> check this one include test if it's checked you can remove it uh, we don't need that for this tutorial so hit the create button and then it creates a blank project for us so uh i say iphone 15 pro and we will practice on iOS 17, the latest version of iOS that uh, is uh, up, uh, up now. So if you uh, watch it a year later, maybe I update the course, update the codes, if the uh, code uh, has to be changed. So I will change it. So let me just uh, add my assets to it. So we have bunch of assets here in the asset of x asset so let me just go to it we have a home we have a floor we have an earth layer and we have a rocket and we have a title name that is uh um, images here for this tutorial so in the content view first of all we have to spray mark Then content view here. So after that, we have to add an extension here. So mark color extension. So we have an extension for color extension color color. Yep. 
like that. And we have a static, static bullet custom background equals to color, color. And we have the green and blue. For red, we have 0 0.08. For green, we have 0 0.2. And for blue, we have 0 0.29. So this is our extension. Hit to the content view here. Let me just see. We have two uh, variables here that we have to define uh, in the uh, in our struct. So static state var is outer layer ra uh, rotating rotating or false. False, yep. And at state or is inner layer rotating false again. So here it is. And so, first of all, we have to create our background here. So, let me just delete that. So, we have the stack first. And then we have background color, so we have to say color dot custom background here. We have defined, we define our custom background here. Yep. And we have to say ignore safe area. And we have to say scale effect. Scale effect. And for the scale, we have 1.2. Yep. That's it. After that, we have real stack. So here we have to make a struct for our title name. This is no page here, just empty space. So we have a mark here to say title image view, title image view. So struct title image view. This is a view type. And we just have to say image and resource for it can be say title name and it's very sizable. Let me just add it to this one title title image view. Yep. It seems very sizable. And we're gonna uh, frame it in width 400 and height. 40 and alignment dot Let's see, yep, no page here, just empty space. After that, we have a spacer here in our real stack spacer, and we have to frame it, and the height would be 100. So, after that, we have rotating layers view, so mark. Rotating layer view here, and let me just see. Yep, so here we have a struct rotating layers view, and this is a view type. So here we have the HS tag, and then we're gonna bind two variables. Binding variable is outer layer rotating type of boolean, and binding var is inner layer rotating again type of boolean. So here it goes. And in our HS tag, we have the ZS tag. Here, after the ZS tag, we have to create another struct here. So we have mark uh, outer layer view. So struct outer layer view here. 
and this is a view type and yep let me just see outer layer view and here we have a binding variable so binding variable for is rotating again boolean type so here the uh, outer layer is the space here so <clears throat> in, in our body we have an image and for the name we have layer earth yep. this is outer image outer layer the earth so this is resizable let me just add it to this one uh let's see it we're gonna see let me see so here i added after the spacer so i say rotating rotating layer view so for is uh, is outer layer rotating say outer is outer layer and uh, other sign is inner layer so this is it and then i have to add it to our uh, rotating layers here so I say outer layer uh, for is rotating we have to pass dollar sign is outer layer rotating so this is it we have the earth and let me just so we have to frame it in width 260 and height 260 This is cool. So, rotation effect, degrees, and then we have to say is rotating, then minus 180, then zero. And we have to animate it. So, that animation, animation that, that is in out. And for a duration, we have five seconds, and that repeats forever. And auto reverse, auto reverse is also true. And here we have our value here it is rotating. Yep. And we have to say on up here, then is rotating dot time. And that's the soft that is rotating. Yep. The earth is rotating. After that, we have to make a static layer. So we have to say more. Static layer. View. And we have to extract static layer view and conference the view type. So for a static, we have the edge of stack. Then we have to, the static part is the two fours here, four and four. So for the better coding, we have to say mark, make another strike, four layer view and just space it around so strike four layer view and again view so we have an image here I have a layer four that resizable a frame width would be 180 Height will be 130. Let me just add it to this one. And to better single, we have alignment by the center. And then we have a shadow for it. And radius would be 10. And x would be 0. And y would be 0. So this is our full layer. So in our static layer, we have to say four layer view and then we have a spacer frame it with 100 
Then we'll just 100, we find 100, the alignment at the center, and then another four layer view, and then I just add this one to our rotating layers view, so static, static layer view. Yep, form four. And then we have to create our inner view. So after that, we have to say mark inner layer view. So start again. In a layer view, view type. So again, we have to bind a variable. So binding variable is rotating boolean type, and we have to say image rocket layer rocket layer rocket dot resizable let me just add it to this one so in a layer uh, for is rotating we have to pass is in a layer rotating here we have it so it is a resizable type and we have to frame it with 300 and height 300 and again that rotation effect will be the degrees so here is rotating, is rotating, then 360, else it is zero. As you see here, you can see one time they, uh, the both of them uh, rotate clockwise. The other time, the rocket rotate clockwise, always the rocket rotate in clockwise, but the Earth one time is clockwise, one time is uh, in clockwise because we set the auto reverse to true. If we set it to false, it is always clockwise, uh, other clockwise. So after that, we have uh, the animation modifier. So animation. We have animation dot easing out, easing out and duration again five, and uh, repeat forever and auto reverse false here, false, and we have to say value is rotating, and then we have dots on the pier, Uh, self dot is rotating dot toggle. Yep, that's it. Let me just see why this is a little bigger. So layer one hundred. Yep. Yep, that's good. So we have we create the animation. We just uh, have to uh, create this button. Go to home page. So here we have to create our home page navigation button. So mark home page navigation button here. So we have a strike home page navigation button compared to view and here we have this stack and just add it to our yep our content view I think yep our content view so after the rotational layers we have the spacer Again, the frame and height would be 200 this time. And we have home page navigation button. 
So you can see it in, uh, on the cam uh, canvas. So we have a zero stack. And here we have to say rounded rectangle and corner radius would be 25. And we have a frame with width would be 200 and height would be uh, 60 and the alignment would be that center. And we have foreground, uh, foreground style here, we got custom, custom, background. foreground color. So we have an overlay here, overlay. Then an overlay, we have a rounded rectangle. And again, we have a corner radius of 25. And we have a stroke. And for that stroke, we use the color white align make that one let me just try a new thing here color dot secondary no color dot white is better so color dot white <clears throat> and here our button shape created so we have the edge stack here edge stack and after that we have text go to and the font would be that headline and the font and the weight would be that medium and the foreground style foreground style that white so here are text then we have an image image home and this is resizable and we have a frame width would be 50 height would be 50 and alignment would be that center and that scale to fit yep so we have text here page again that font would be dot headline as the previous text that font weight would be that medium and the foreground style would be dot white so this is it we create this beautiful and eye-catching and a 404 animation with swift and swift ui beginner friendly so uh, I hit the command and R to create to build this app in my simulator. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe my channel for the next video. And uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this video to, with your friends. Also, I have a I have a playlist for Swift and Swift UI, a bunch of tutorials there. I think 59 or 60 videos there. You can learn a lot from them. I built many apps, many great apps uh, you can find there. So this is our today's tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, just tell me in the comments. Uh, it would be uh, it pump my energy for the next videos. So that's it for today. Until the next one, practice coding, be safe, and until the next one, bye-bye.